our trade policy in terms of opening up our economy and our marketplace to Chinese products was basically based on a geo strategy of separating China from the then Soviet Union. So you didn't have this combined large communist bloc. But giving full access to our, our consumers when the products were made by under very different labor rules, under very different wage levels, uh, very different environmental regulations, meant they could make things for a fraction of the price we could in America. So the result was the destruction of millions of American manufacturing jobs. And so many companies said, we either have to develop a supplier in China, or we've got to move our operation to, to China. But either one of which meant the American factory shut down. So you see areas that were just profoundly affected by the loss of good paying middle class jobs. And so in this area of trade, uh, you saw not so long ago uh, the Democratic uh, Party uh, saying we should be very cautious about the Trans-Pacific Partnership uh, and the impacts it will have in continuing to diminish uh, jobs. And then uh, you had uh, President Trump running for office who uh, he basically carried that baton and made that case. And a big section of the Republican Party started to say, how is trade going to affect the middle class? Trade, could, trade done wrong can really have a brutal impact on, on middle class America. Uh, so this, this is uh, something that's, I think, a, a, a point that has to be wrestled with, uh, and it's being wrestled with uh, by folks on both sides of the aisle.